Hi, my name is Stabby, and today I'm going to show you how to get floating emotes like these in Streamlabs OBS. Let's get right to it. We'll start by going to StreamElements.com, and I'll throw the link in the description below. Just need to log in, and then head over to My Overlays here. From here, go into Create Blank Overlay. And then you'll need to pick a random game. I'll just choose Kappa. Kappa's Trail, apparently. And then for the overlay name, pick what you want. And hit Submit. And that creates it. Next, we have to click this little uh, pencil thing to go into the Overlay Editor. Hit Widgets up here. And go down here, Capogen, and Add. Now that Capogen's installed, all we need to do is save it down here, and then throw it into Streamlabs OBS. We can do that by hitting launch and getting this URL. So just click that to copy it, and then throw it into Streamlabs OBS. You can do that by clicking new source here, browser source, and add, and uh, add a new source here. We'll call it Kappa test, and add. It'll throw up this window, so we just need to throw that URL in there. And if you saved, it should work right away. We still need to customize it a little bit, so we'll do that next. But first we'll need to adjust this source so we know what we're working with when we're trying to customize. So we'll just widen that and fit it to where exactly we want it. So we'll just throw it right in the middle. And then we'll head right back to Stream Elements. From here, we just need to figure out how we want the emotes to actually pop up. Um, we'll start with the emote size. I like mine a little bit smaller, but you can do yours to your liking. And we need to make sure that we hit save after we make our changes. Otherwise, they will not pop up in OBS. From there, we need to go to the animation, figure out what you want. I prefer bubble just because, I don't know, I like how it looks. And I did turn off Capogen for the purpose of the tutorial on my Streamlabs OBS. Otherwise, you'd be seeing it. I'll, I'll give you an example. It'd be looking like that. And it notice it's different because I didn't save it. All right. So I'll turn that back off. And we'll go through the other options here. So we, you could go Zoom. Blur. Bounce. Or if you wanted them all to be... Uh, all over the place, you can do that too. I personally recommend against use the entire screen for emotes, just because it's a little easier to orient it the way you want it if you have it unchecked, so make sure you uncheck that one. And if you go down here, you can limit the amount of emotes that users can send if you don't want a face full of emotes all the time. And you can also limit the duration of the emotes on screen. And that brings us to emote explosions. These are just a barrage of emotes that your viewers can trigger depending on which ones you have activated. And you can choose those here. And you can also choose the amount of emotes that show up every time one of these actions are triggered. So we'll start with a thousand here just for, for the purpose of this. You can set the animation much like with the original chat emotes here. You can set that however you want. Um, to trigger, just uh, do a little test. You can go over the bell and emulate whichever event you have selected. So I'll just choose Follower. And we will have an explosion of a thousand emotes. You can customize this a little bit, just depending on which animation you want. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful at all, consider giving it a like. And for future streaming tutorials, make sure you subscribe. Now that you know how to do it, time to take a stab at it yourself. See you next time. Oh, and if you want to see Capogen and a lot of other cool effects in action, you can always come see me live at twitch.tv slash stabstream. See you there.